here's something you may not have caught in part one of the Owl House finale. So you might be bummed that Luz's Palisman has yet to hatch, but it's clear that Dana and the crew are having fun teasing us. There are hints to all the prominent Palisman theories throughout the episode. Young Luz in a black cat costume, bat decorations on her window and at school, and a verbal shout out for a bird parallel to Albert. But with 98% certainty, I can say the snake Palisman theory seems to be confirmed. Not only is Luz wearing a t-shirt with the rod of Asclepius throughout the episode, but we see not one but two snakes in her animal research guide. Then consider Luz's childhood where she found a snakeskin. Not only does this symbolize the rebirth and transformation Luz has undergone on the Isles, but it is of great sentimental value to her mother, so much so that she frames the skin in an Ouroboros pattern. There's actually another Ouroboros on her computer too. Add in the fact that the first scene of the entire show has her playing with a snake, and you've got a theory that goes full circle, baby! What's more interesting is that the Ouroboros is often used in stories that explore cyclical time. And I've got a theory that time travel via the time pools is gonna be the key to stopping the Collector. But that's a theory to be explored later in my Thanks to Them breakdown on Whitney Vision's YouTube.